Hello everybody, this is Ton Ton and today I will have an announcement to make That is, I'm gonna start doing a new show now So instead of just doing the toys review, I'm gonna do some kind of like a talk show weekly So that during the talk show I will give you updates about the upcoming Transformer toys And maybe even Gunpla and everything you want to know So stay tuned because this is the first episode of the show I'll call it the Ton Ton talk show And this is Ton Ton talk show number one so that the first thing I want to talk about today is, is this, uh, I don't know, maybe this is like a official image or you can say the rumors of the upcoming studio series Left Foot. As you can see here, this is a picture and to be honest, I'm quite disappointed with the proportion of the figure because um, the leg is kind of long and of course they gave us the fat stomach but I don't really like that because of the leg. This is, this is the same problem that happens with the Deluxe Hound from Age of Extinction. It's like they, because of the transformation, they want to keep it simple. So that they give us the long leg, longer than it's supposed to be in the show. And I'm quite curious about the size of him, to be honest, because in the Dark of the Moon, left foot is actually shorter than Top Spin and Root Buster. So with this transformation, I don't know if he's he actually gonna be shorter or he's gonna be the same size but I guess we have to wait until the next wave is um, released because then we have the official information about the upcoming studio series talking about records so in the next wave we will have the deluxe top spin which is will be the second records from the studio series line and from the image I have that I predict that he's gonna use a, a similar transformation to Roadbuster because of the back cable is quite thick in this picture and then we also have some new function and of course we have the sub arms as you can see here there's some joints so that you can create some kind of poses I really like that because the records in the original are known for the unique equipment so it would be really really nice to see that a records has like like sub arms unit for combat and otherwise I really like his face you have to see the glasses and the uh, blue paint on here is quite nice but then I do hope that they it's not that easy for paint trip which is kind of easy to happen to transform figures but then again the studio series line is supposed to mid for durability so I really hope that it will stay there quite securely I really hope that and for that I really expect this figure and I really hope that I can do the review soon when uh, the package arrives about that and next we do have some with in the Revenge of the Fallen version and to be honest I really don't like this figure that much because of the uh, sad light mode it looks kind of I know kind of stupid because it's, I guess it, because I, it looks different in the movie and most of the time he had the sad light attached to him so uh, we don't really know much about this mode but then we do get a base to uh, plug him into the I think this is the ass which is okay because I'm, I'm familiar with that and the robot mode uh, if you um, watch the other Transformer cartoon from long ago you know this there's a character called Vector Prime and this is the exact same body type that the studio series Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave has which is kind of okay because we never get to know what the actual robot mode of Soundwave in Revenge of the Fallen looks like so I think that we will make do with everything and if I'm gonna get this figure then I'm mostly gonna display him in the satellite mode and then display the other Dark, Dark of the Moon Soundwave next to him they could be a great duo but um I don't know if he's gonna have another mini cons like Ravage with him because the uh, Dark of the Moon studio series Soundwave actually have actually has a um, laser beak so I really hope that he's gonna have Ravage with him this time because otherwise then he has no other accessories and one other thing that Hasbro could Takara could have done is that they got to include the gun of the Dark of the Moon sound wave and if they do that will really be a bump because they actually have a history of doing this with the studio series Ratchet like the first version they include with a saw with a blade but then on the second version they just changed the color a little bit and then gave him the gun so I really don't know if they're gonna repeat that or they're gonna give sound wave a Ravage or they just they, they, they could have just give nothing I'm really curious about this and I hopefully my questions could be answered soon and of course the start this wave is the studio series Sentinel Prime we are waiting for this because we have the studio series Optimus Prime in the Dark of the Moon and we have Megatron but then they gave us the Sentinel and I have to say they did a fairly good job at representing his robot mode in the movie I really dig that because it's movie accurate but then his accessories are what make me unhappy because of the blade look hideous it's not movie accurate at all I understand that they try to fit the blade into the transformation 
and because of the transformation they excluded the shield of Sentinel Prime which is one of his signature weapons uh I'm gonna I'm still gonna buy this figure because he's an important character and the robot mode looks nice and the transformation I hope that it will be good but then again I really disappointed with accessories and from this I'm gonna predict that some third party is gonna come up with a upgrade kit which includes a new blade a shield and even the gun because as you can see here in this picture Sentinel does have a rust cosmic rust gun that he kills iron high with I really like that gun and I do hope that they're gonna include that gun into the studio series Sentinel somehow because that is the best Sentinel we might have at the moment I really hope that otherwise I love the color scheme and everything another scenario that I think of is maybe they gotta release another version of Sentinel Prime maybe the battle damage version at the final battle of Dark of the Moon that he doesn't have his helmet on and missing a uh, shoulder armor with that maybe they're gonna include the shield and even maybe the gun or at the best I do hope that they're gonna release some at least some kind of pillars that he used for space bridge I, it could be really cool if he has that I really hope that Takara will consider it and on this wave we do have the final p two pieces of Devastator from Revenge of the Fallen which is Overlord and Scrapper so I'm gonna go through Overlord first uh we all know that Overlord he has two concept arts of the robot form the first one is that he got the spider leg and the second is that he got four arms like in the comic and so studio series Takara they actually went with, went with the second option so they gave him four arms so we have the leader scale Overlord figures and I have to say it, it looks really nice and I can see the hips part of Devastator now which is the, uh, the second two sub arms so that could be the hip and the thighs of devastator and judging from this it's gonna be a really strong joint though to hold the whole devastator together and i really like that i do i really like that and he looks nice and of course he got this keyboard part up onto the truck that could be the neck of devastator we all know this we all saw this coming during my uh review of um demolisher oh sorry my bad scavenger and mick master i do mention that this con transformation this combine needs overload and i was right and then again he, he looks really nice i gonna i really hope that i can put devastator together soon and to the other arms we have of course of course scrapper nothing too major here just a basic voyager transformer and yeah i mean he just okay like he just he not too spectacular like overload so i do not give him like a really high hope up or anything just another voyager and but then talking about the color yellow in this web we also gonna include skipjack which is a um rampage repaint to yellow color and so it creates a kind of like unnecessary unnecessary but then again uh, if you look at devastator picture like here you see that if he combines with rampage then the leg will be the whole red color scheme and to some people that is may, that might be a problem so so they, they give us a choice here so like you can either have the red leg or the yellow leg it's up to you but then we're gonna release the same figure but then different colors the classic Takara and about talk about devastator so as you know they are a third-party company called devil savior so they are building a um, their own version of devastator which is will be the uh, masterpiece movie scale and this is a picture of what Devastator looks like and of course it is much bigger more detailed than the studio series version but then again the price is pretty high and one more thing that uh, if you're gonna purchase this I think I should warn you that as a transformer collector I collect both the official version and the third party and there's a saying that I like to say that the third party is only for show but to actually to handle and play with you should choose the official version because one why? Because of the quality of the plastic and the engineering. The engineering of Devastator here that mostly will be using the same engineering, the same gimmick from the Studio Series line. But then again, it creates a problem of joint that is created for such a small and light weighted figures then they upscale it give it a more details and then put it back so that of course there will be die cast metal and there will be that the problem of the joint that cannot hold the die cast metal because of the wrong calculation and everything but then again i might still be collecting the devil savior version and might be someday compare it to the studio series but then again i will this time i don't with this figure uh i cannot review it for you guys as the first person because it's too risky it's kind of risky to collect a third-party transformer with the 
combi co uh, combination gimmick because like I do collect third party combiners but then again they all stay on two legs they all stay on two legs and they have that human shape body so that is it easier to calculate everything but with the devastator here it is really hard because it's a four legged figure and you have to do poses and because the way he looks he has to have a hip a belly band and that will affect the whole design of the figure so I'm it is kind of risky so I'm not gonna try collecting him yet but maybe in the future now to the real devastator from Takara as you can see we have some pictures here but then again most of the people problem is that he's standing up instead of, instead of crawling and I think that he might be able to bend because of the hip but the head I'm quite curious because I actually I think overload head has a joint that allows him to bend the head to look facing up front in the crawling position but then I'm gonna I'm not gonna make any things at the moment because I want to wait and we also have the studio series list wing and obviously he's not movie accurate in the jet form because of the uh, copyright licensing and he's, he looks pretty nice and as you can see he has uh, two accessories here uh, first he has his gun and second he has that sticky killing thing that he used to rip bumblebee voice box off I really like that and I'm gonna definitely gonna buy him to finish my uh, forming characters of the bumblebee standalone setup movie and we also have a Cybertronian cliff jumper and he got his uh, Cybertronian car mode and with this figure uh, I'm pretty sure that he's using the same transforming gimmick as the uh, Bumblebee Jeep version because of the two wheels set position behind the shoulder and again cliff jumper so of course uh, in the future we will have a yellow cliff jumper which is Bumblebee obviously the way that they design things and with cliff jumper we do have a gun like a pistol thing and I really disappoint that they don't include the two machine gun that Bumblebee, Bumblebee has in Cybertron in the vehicle mode I think that looked really cool and it's a shame that he doesn't come with it for a change, let's jump from the studio storyline to the seat and Earthrise Transformer. And officially now has flick Netflix has given us the trailer of the Transformer seat. And I think I'm gonna do a, another breakdown video of that later on. But now on to the toys. We have the first we have the Voyager Quintesson Judge set. I think that he looks really nice. He has another icon and I don't know that it's gonna be included into the set or so separately, but I'm gonna mention it later on. And of course we have another Megatron, which is another Megatron tank i think now they're gonna make the g1 megatron kind of a tank version instead of just the walter p p gun like in the original original g1 cartoon because obviously a tank is easier than a gun because we saw with the what is that called that old tv with wind blade and everything the uh, combiner wars megatron has a tank form and then we have the cyberverse cyberverse megatron has a tank form and now they're gonna make the siege and the earthrise megatron also a tank form and as you can see we have a huge part forming problem here so the whole cannon up front will be removed and then attached again as a spear and shield thingy I'm not a fan of that but then again I'm still gonna buy it for the sake of the review we also have nap dragon which is a uh, leader class he's a triple changer so he has a robot form a spaceship form and a dinosaur form and I have to be honest snap dragons remind me of Trypticon he's a dinosaur and he transformed into a spaceship so I think they look relevant also we have the air wave he's a uh, deluxe class and as you can see from the picture here he's obviously the same as the iron work figure part forming to merge into different form of a base and they're gonna can I, th I guess that they can combine to each other to form a bigger base or something nothing too spectacular here and also we have RC we have the deluxe RC that comes with a nice pink I really enjoy her up, and up really with the fact that she looks better than the new masterpiece RC I really like that she has a slick car form and I guess because of the slick they gave her the back section of the car into a, an action base and I say okay that is how they do things now they learn things from other toys manufacturer like Bandai or everything so they learn that part forming is okay so they're just applying it to everything now so RC looks pretty nice uh, I don't know with her dual he only got a pistol so I don't know if she's not like alternate base or anything else or they're gonna give it to the masterpiece RC for that we have to wait until we have further notice and of course we have some like other remoting of the, the Earthrise wheeljack so we have room number and I'm gonna put the picture of uh, Sun Shrieker up next to him. As you can see here, they're doing the same poses. Their leg gimmick are the same. Their backs are the same. Their arms are the same. So this is like uh, they're just using the same mechanic now. I guess that is what happened with the other lines of toys. They just use the same mechanic because they're both for wheels, vehicle, snap it together, and boom, you have a new figure. That is quite disappointing to be honest. I don't really like that too much. Kind of disappointed. And my friend, that's it is for today's talk show. This is the first time I'm doing this, so I really hope that you enjoy it. 
If you have any comments or anything to share with me, comment in the comment section below and we will discuss about it. And also give me your opinion to how to improve this talk show. I really need that. And as for the Transformer review, at this time I cannot promise anything soon. But then again, I'm gonna try my best to give you guys a review as soon as possible. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and then follow me on Instagram. The link to my Instagram is in the description of the video. So I'll see you guys later. Until next time. See you guys. Thank you.